I love makeup. Now that's what the fuck I'm seeing lately. It's a bunch of fucking tukors everywhere thinking they're fucking SEs. What the fuck? And every time I see that, I see the like traits that they talk about themselves, like negative and positive traits, and it's fucking copy paste. They're all the same. They all of them seem the same. <laughs> Where the fuck? None of you are SE bases. Like literally. Like like how are you gonna write that shit? And you think you're a fucking SE base. What the fuck went wrong? Tell me what went wrong. Yo, what's Gucci guys? So today we're going to be talking about SEE versus SLE. It's going to be a very extensive type analysis, okay? I've gathered many, many examples from real life using, you know, I'm going to use clips to show you and demonstrate some of the things I'm going to be talking about. You're your own person in this case, right? You might not be this SE or that SE. The point is to show that they all use the same elements to kind of show you how those elements will show up when I'm talking about specific things. Now, why do this video? You've I've already done that, right? Some of you might have even seen it. First, it was shit. And second, it was that interpretation of an SEE that completely misled me and would, would basically, I would never relate to it. I would never relate to an SEE if that's how it was described, right? Never. And that's the problem with some of the perceptions. I see a lot of ESCs being typed at. And that was my kind of understanding of the tap on was almost weirdly ESC coded. This super like charming, like a discounted SE base. I don't know what, how else I should describe it. I used to always say SE is a discounted SE base because looking at an legit SLE, I see the SE base. Then I look at this like apparently, you know, accepted, widely accepted SE. And I'm like, where the fuck is the SE base? Like, where where is it actually? Yeah, okay. He can he's a fighter sometimes. Yeah, okay. He's super seductive, impulsive, charming. Ha ha ha. He loves attention. Where the fuck is SE base? I don't see it. You look um dashing, gorgeous, irresistible. Wrecked. You look wrecked. No reason why. So that always confused me. And that stopped me from retyping. And I think this breakdown is going to stop and help many other people, many other SEs, potential SEs, who maybe even mistyped as SEs. And I'm going to go, I'm going by Oshra, okay? I'm going by original socionics by Oshra. And in Oshra, the whole perception, the whole interpretation of SE is Napoleon. You know, of course you might agree or disagree about the individual's type. That doesn't fucking matter. I'm not really talking about him. But the interpretation of how the SEE is perceived, right? How do we go from that to this basically an OnlyFans girl who is impulsive, yes. Uh, but she's also just an attention whore who's super affectionate and ha has hunger for uh, love need. How, how do we go from that? It's the two different things. And with my examples, you'll see that the SEEs are honestly not extremely different from the SEEs because they shouldn't be. They are SE base. There will be differences, but an SE base is an SE base, and that's it. How those two types come across, right? Some visible differences in behavior. In terms of that, in terms of their SE and how they carry themselves is generally the SE is going to be more outgoing, more expressive, more social, and almost more flamboyant. That's the general kind of characteristics. They're all often going to be more likely to be types that are going to be dragging things into the center of attention. So they're more likely to stand out, okay? That's kind of one thing you will see from, from many of those examples, that they are more likely to kind of be in the center, to stand out, to speak up, be loud, be to be heard, and again, it's generally more of an extravagant person. They can be more of that social, right? More people oriented. That's helpful. There's a component of sanguine almost, right? That's how it is. Not sanguine first. Don't confuse that. Don't think sanguine first, uh, SE. That's not a thing, okay? But having a sanguine blend, like choleric sanguine, which is an extremely common, the most common uh, temperament for this type. So just think of that. That's the kind of personality you should see. Okay, now with an SLE, there is a bit more of the cool headedness. They're, they tend to be a bit more low key. There's not much much focus on let me be in the center of attention. This is a person who might be more non nonsense. They might come across as a bit more impersonal. I don't talk a lot. You talk a lot, brother. <laughs> okay, so okay. You, you ask me, people ask me, I answer. 
I this see. is not okay. talk a lot. That's if you ask me, I answer. Yeah. If you don't ask me, guys, I know we're gonna talk about something. A bit more, um, not as not as flamboyant, not as social, not as outspoken in a sense. Not that they're not as aggressive or they're not as outspoken or expensive. Not necessarily, but comparatively, the SCE is gonna kind of make more impact, be more influential, because they're gonna be dealing with people, right? There's the SCFI and FE demo. So that is what you'll see, some of the basic differences between those two types. But that doesn't mean that the SCE suddenly turned into a fucking TikToker who loves to post her fucking ass pics and spread her fucking nudes on OnlyFans. This is not how this shit works. Now let's proceed to the demonstrative elements, which is the SLTE demo and the SCE FE demo. With the SCE, what you're gonna see is more likelihood, a higher likelihood of eliciting certain reactions in people, affecting people's moods. And SE is often described as a, a, a person who has, as a leader of people who can mobilize people into action, who can stir certain emotions in others. I'm not gonna help nobody get something my Negroes don't have. If I'm gonna die, I'll die now, right here fighting you. Are you my enemy. My name is a white people, not Viet Cong or Chinese or Japanese. You my opposer when I want freedom. You my opposer when I want justice. You my opposer when I want equality. You won't even stand up for me in America for my religious beliefs, and you want me to go somewhere and fight, but you won't even stand up for me here at home. So this can be good, this can be bad, right? Someone provoking you on purpose to elicit certain reactions to kind of get to you impact your mood a certain way. So this is something that the SE is quite capable of. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, the Mayweather's. No, 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 no. We can do better than that. I want this entire arena to scream, the Mayweather's. And with the SLE on the other hand, I think they excel much better with the logical matters. They know how to use all of that energy that they have because they're SE base, right? They use all of that energy in a much more precise and pragmatic way. They they use the energy to put it into a precise action. So it's much more tactical, it's it's much more coherent. I study everybody extensively and then I come up with their patterns. Um, I figure out the way they flinch. I figure out their first favorite punch, their second favorite punch, their third, their favorite combinations, the, their setups to their takedowns, when they clinch, what side of their head's gonna be in. Literally everything, I, I know everything about every opponent. And it's much more precise in its use. And this is an individual who is very result-oriented. This can fight, man. And I think he thinks much like me, you know, I gotta do these press conferences, I gotta do these things and make the money, put it in my pocket. But at the end of the day, I wanna just fight, man. That's what I wanna can do that's what I signed up for an individual who is really indifferent caring about the impression he leaves on other people and then we have the creative which for the SE is FI and I think this is where a lot of the confusion really comes from but the notion that we often hear with SE is that because they're as FI creative it means that they understand psychological distance they understand the boundaries that's true right no one can disagree with that because that is how it's described that's true what isn't true is that people say because they understand those boundaries they're not going to be insensitive they're not going to be tactless they're not going to be rude and this is uh, for, for me it seems like common sense but for many people it seems like there's a weird misunderstanding you can understand psychological distance you can understand if you know someone might react well to it someone might react very badly to what you're going to say and you still will say it okay because you don't give a f about this specific person or maybe even better you want them to be affected that specific way so you say it you guys are your soft because you gotta get hit by your family more we need to bring back alcoholism maybe some drug abuse be good for you guys not even hit not like not discipline you guys don't need to be like i didn't take out the trash hit you guys need to get like an alcoholic rage beating what fi creative means in this case is simply expressiveness of your sentiments comes very easily to you. I really like John Jones. I'm authentic. My only thing with John Jones is he's just a fake motherfucker. It's like, oh no, God loves me. I'm a, I'm a saint. Like, no, dude, you are a piece of shit. <laughs> You're terrible, like, yeah. You are a terrible, terrible human being. Negative. And now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way into the world. You are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you or positive 
I love you, Brazil. You know I love the Brazilians. I love the Brazilian people. They're passionate people. Um, and I look forward to going back there. Both are something, it's something very easy. And, in, and it is seen in descriptions. In descriptions, it is, it is said that the SE is a person who can lead an army and look at its soldiers and say, you know, I love you soldiers and be personal with them. Inspire them. Say that you care about them. You know, I care about you and I love you and I feel this way towards you and I want to express it. You're expressing it freely to everyone. Stick up for you fucking guys. I fucking do it. I am not chasing the Chinese check mark of Nike. I don't give a f about that. I care about you guys. I care about you guys being free. I care about you guys having freedom of speech. And of course, it is also aware how other people feel. Right, so you kind of can play off with it, especially when you have FE demonstrative. You you can understand if you might say something, it might elicit a certain reaction. I recognize somebody's movement and somebody's reaction in live play better than anyone. I also feel like I can read people's minds. I know I know what way people are feeling and what way in terms of body language and just the way people approach certain things. I know what way what's going through someone's mind by just looking. I know I, I know what way he feels. So I so I'll give him something to make him feel that way more. This makes them very expressive, but don't confuse this expressiveness for bubbly. Only fans, twinkism. I'm just, a, I'm just, a, I'm just a silly girl. I'm just a silly girl. <laughs> I love makeup. Now that's what the fuck I'm seeing lately. It's a bunch of fucking tukors everywhere, thinking they're fucking SEs. What the fuck? And every time I see that, I see the like traits that they talk about themselves, like negative and positive traits, and it's fucking copy paste. They're all the same. They all of them seem the same. <laughs> Where the fuck? None of you are SE bases, like literally, like, like how are you gonna write that shit and you think you're a fucking SE base? What the fuck went wrong? Tell me what went wrong. The SEE might scold you, might get angry at you, might vent his anger at you, and then the next time, right, next 10 minutes, he's like acting like nothing happened. He moved on. Uh, okay, it's just part of the routine. I vented at you, we moving the fuck on. No, it's not that deep. So it's often not that deep is a very SEE statement to say. SEFI, you get a person who's very non-conforming. So it's not a person who's really focused on adapting to the external, making sure you're cozy. If he wants to, could he be able to make a good impression on you? But this is not the focus of this individual. A very rebellious type that really goes its own way and, you know, carves its own path. Maybe there's rebelliousness in me. No, you will not box me and you will not quiet me. So I'll say even more crazy shit. Now, what is interesting here is also because it's SEFI, it's creating, it's establishing power, right? Through relations. Again, you're not slurping motherfuckers off here. You're not slurping them off or sending your fucking ass pics, right? That's not what you're doing. You are establishing either friendship, you're establishing a certain bond, certain connection. Mobilize those people into action to achieve great things together. Here we also see a lot of focus on loyalty, who's with me, who's against me. All of those things are very true to the SCE. Yeah, I've told Uriah many times. He needs to recognize who's with him, who's against him. You don't get tired, but Chad does. I was a little dig at Chad. Or maybe you're the snake. Maybe you are all snake. Loyalty is a strong thing for me, and I respect loyalty a lot. But I absolutely despise, uh, despise people who are disloyal. They stay true to their people. They stay true to their friends, to, to, to people they value, their inner circle. Something that is very valuable to them. Now with the SLE's TI, we often would think, and you often see this, beta STs are rigid, beta STs are rigid. And I used to think that too. They are supposed to be high dimensional in its use of TI. It's supposed to be nuanced. It's supposed to understand the complexity of its subject. That's what it does. To see that it's nuanced and operate within that spectrum. With SLEs, you see that they play around with rules, with laws, with structures, with hierarchy. They can be people who blend in. They blend in hierarchies. They blend in systems. They will use that to gain leverage. They will use that. They will manipulate those things to gain power, to gain leverage, or to gain satisfaction of anything that they want to get. That's how they will use TI. It's not going to be a super rigid framework. Now, in terms of mobilizing, with the SLE, we have the MFE mobilizing. And sometimes you'd hear, yeah, it's, many SLEs are very expressive. We genuinely... Guys, we, we overestimated how expressive SDs are. They aren't. They aren't. And in terms of their expressiveness and, and ability to impact the moods, like I've seen some descriptions in Western that 
they they like to be in center of attention and they know how to stir. They can't. They can't. They they don't do that. Okay. And when you put them in such position, they it often backfires. The impact that they want to have on the emotional atmosphere is just not the one that they actually want. And and uh, the situation gets out of control. Once you get going, the emotional atmosphere. Once you get going, they want to join and they want to have fun with it, let loose. But don't expect them to be the ones eliciting it. Uh, you're gonna fucking vomit. They tend to be a bit more reserved. Then to be, be a bit more serious. You get them in a group setting, they can kind of loosen up. But don't expect no fucking SLE to be there, like, commanding fucking environments. Like, I've seen some motherfuckers think that's the case. Fuck, I used to think that's me. Yeah, I'm the SLE who goes and does that. You know, that's normal. That's a few mobilizing. <laughs> yeah. I'm retarded. And by proxy, we all retarded. Their use of energy tends to be a bit more scattered. I think SLEs are much more tactical, are much more efficient and precise with their energy and the way they use their energy. Here, I think it's a bit more fucking willful. It's relying on just pure perseverance and pure push to overcome the obstacle. But it lacks a bit of that nuance and the energy is not really directed in a very efficient or pragmatic fashion. If it works, it fucking works. That's kind of their daily life. If it works, it works. But I do see a lot of issues in the organization sphere of life uh, and in the objective world. There's a lot of issues that the SE will have to deal with. Place of confusion because it's easy to think we ignore our polar. We just, we don't care about it. Eh, right? And an SCE, TI polar, is not going to sit and use systems or, or talk about systems. They, they don't have TI. Well, they do have TI. And they're conscious of their TI. They're aware of their TI. You're supposed to cope about your vulnerable. It's a, it's a, it's a sore spot mix. It can make you defensive. can make you reactive, right? But it's something you are aware of. It's something that you press on it. There is a, cer a certain impact. If you're just chilling and you're not giving a fuck and you're just like, yeah, I, d I, just, I just don't care. I just don't care. I just don't care. You're not TI Apollo. It can manifest as black and white thinking because it lacks logical nuance. So this SCE can be prone to creating logical stereotypes based on slogans and other shit that he keeps repeating, keeps repeating. For example, it's funny because it's literally taken from a source, what I'm saying, right? All the times I've said 69 gender, non-binary flying helicopter to describe types, right? The basement dwelling nerd who likes to get s There's also skepticism to the objective world of information uh, that T.I. Polo can be very wary and very suspicious, skeptical of any new information. They also tend to respect people with higher intelligence than themselves. They like to rely on experts, right? On experts in the technical objective world, someone who can help them with that. Um, and they respect such people, such people, people who have the expertise, who, who prove themselves to the SE as someone who's very capable in that department. Lack of restriction is a big component for the SCE. It's a lot of focus on autonomy and freedom, really a lot of focus, not to be restricted. So that's something that they do care about in their life, in their daily life. When you have the SE, FI, and TI vulnerable, the approach to power is also quite different than the of an SLE, which used and often could abuse hierarchies. SCE, he often sees things like that as limiting, because it's limiting its potential. So styles tends to not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth that you cannot change, you know. How can I express myself? That way you won't create a style. Style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way it's a process of continuing growth. Now for the FI vulnerable, don't confuse it with just not giving a f When you poke at the FI, you can get a very defensive or even borderline reactive response from the individual, from the SLE. If you keep trying to pry on his sentiments, his feelings, how he's reacting, you're try uh, yeah, you might not get the response you're looking for. It might kind of leave the SLE a bit annoyed, a bit frustrated. Continue the escapades. Take the talking stick and tell us your story. Nah, I'm good. You know, I've seen guys like you before. Oh, seriously, don't I? The smirk, the jokes. It's all a defense mechanism. I said I'm good. Time to move on. And this FI Apollo generally makes SLEs come across as a bit more impersonal. They tend to give an impression of someone who's quite detached. You're wearing clothes? 
Very close. Went through a lot together. That's when I was in the army. And now? I'm not in the army. Barely talked to your brother for years. Fall out of touch with your army buddies. How do you let go of people so easily? The defensiveness. They're very guarded. They're very defensive. Their feelings, their sentiments, they're not going to rely on that. They don't trust those sentiments of theirs. And their sentiments are normative. Their FI is normative. So it's very, it adheres to the objective world. To its expectations. Not only that, it's also rigid. So here, don't get confused that the FI, per, FI polar person doesn't care. They don't care. Nothing's that deep. Mm. If you affect the SLE on a personal level, it's going to be very fucking deep. And as far as like having like a friendship or having anything like that, that's never going to happen, man. And just solely because you address my kids. My daughter's 13 years old now. She has access to a phone. She's asking me questions. And every time she asks me those questions, man, it bothers me, man. And it's just like, man, I, sometimes I don't even know how to answer my daughter. Their interpersonal struggles can be something that they get bothered by. They have a hard time navigating the relationships. What to say? How should I respond in this way? How should I respond in this situation with a PTSD in the other person? They don't know how to handle it. And sometimes they might have good intentions when navigating those interpersonal relations. Kind of behave in a way where they're insensitive. That wasn't even their intention. It wasn't done on purpose. This, funnily enough, when you kind of criticize them for that or when you point it out, rattle the SLE, it can almost bother them. Move on, Finley. I've seen trees lose rings faster than you. My wife's dead. She died and I can't stop wearing the ring. That's not what you told me. All I told you was her name was Sharon. I never said you were right about us being divorced. Well, why didn't you correct me? I don't correct anyone. Imagine an ESI in that situation. You know, the SLE maybe acted in a way that's dickish. He didn't even mean to. The ESI starts calling him out on that. Why are you doing? You're acting like a you know shit person. Fuck. That is gonna bother the uh, SLE because it's the FI vulnerable that's being hit. Shoot down below if you have any questions or maybe you have your own insights. How to tell the difference between SE and SLE? If you've seen some things I haven't talked about or I haven't mentioned, feel free to comment down below. Anyway, guys, I'm out. I'm gonna eat chicken because I'm really fucking starving. I'm talking as fast as I can because my fucking heart's shaking because I need that chicken. Bye and ciao and see ya.